everybody. Welcome to my home on this beautiful fall day. Today I'm going to be preparing chestnut stuffing. Absolutely delicious. I've been making this dish forever and whenever I go to someone's home during the fall and Christmas season, this is something that's always asked of me. Now it's very easy to make and let's get started. Okay, so I have a heavy skillet here. I have it at medium heat, and to this I'm going to add a three-quarter cup of butter and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just going to let this heat up. Okay, now I'm going to add four cups of sweet onion and two cups of celery. To this I'm going to add about a tablespoon of kosher salt black pepper. I have about six sprigs of thyme from my garden. I'm just going to add them. Okay, I'm just going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and I'm uh, covered and I'm going to mix it every five minutes. Okay, this is cooking nicely. I am going to prepare the other part of the mixture, which is five eggs and five. And I'm just going to give this a really good scramble. Eggs, I'm going to add six cups of chicken stock. You can use vegetable if you like. Okay, turning off my stove, it's been 15 minutes. Now I'm, we're just going to wait about 20-25 minutes until it's at room temperature. I have a cup of chopped fresh parsley. It does have to be fresh. Okay, two teaspoons of salt, kosher salt, and pepper. I have three cups of chestnuts here. Um, I get them vacuum packed. It's so convenient and easy. They're cleaned, they're delicious. I prepared my baking dish and I lined it completely with butter. It's the best. Now, you can use whatever bread you have. Um, just make sure it's a day old. If it's not, just um, uh, put it in the oven at 350 for five to six minutes. I'm using focaccia because I just love focaccia um, in uh, stuffing. Now, um, I bought it already, but you can make your own. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to add it to the plate. Now I'm going to add this mixture to my egg mixture and give it a really good mix. Preheat your oven at 325. Um, the bread, I'm going to put the mixture now inside where the bread, where the bread is. to cover it with aluminum paper very tightly. I am going to bake it for 30 minutes with the cover and then an additional 30 without the cover. I'm going to place it on a baking sheet just in case it bubbles over. My chestnut stuffing is done. I'm just going to let it rest for about 20 minutes. Um, I ended up leaving it for 45 minutes the second time around. You check your oven and uh, just check your um, stuffing and see how it's cooking. Um, I'm going to taste a little bit for you. It looks wonderful. It smells incredible. And I don't think anybody will miss just a little, little, little piece. So good. Absolutely delicious. It's just all these different flavors. Oh, so good. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's Katerina from My Home Kilo.